Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyne. In our today's video, we will talk about the angles of parallelogram. For us to solve this kind of problem, guys, we need to use the properties of parallelogram that focuses on angles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's try to solve two problems here So parallelogram. We have here parallelogram A, B, C, D, and we are asked to solve for X and find the measure of each angle. So we have two items here. This is the first item and second item. Now, base, basic thing na bibigay ko sa inyo tip for you to solve this kind of problem. Alamin nyo muna yung relationship between the angles na merong uh, representation ng kanilang value. Example, in number one. As you can see, the two angles here na meron or merong represented value, remember ha, this is not the exact measurement of angle D and angle B. So, here's the question. What is the relationship? What is the relationship between angle B and angle D? As you can see, angle B and angle D are opposite angles. So, meron tayo ngayong property na nag-focus sa opposite angles that in a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. So, meron tayong statement ngayon na angle B is congruent to angle D. Since they are congruent, masabi natin that the measurement of angle B is equal to the measurement of angle D. Since they are equal, we can use the representation and palitan natin yung ating angles dito. Yung ating angle B is represented by 4x plus 9 degrees. So, gawin natin dito, kunin natin yung 4x plus 9. Then equal kay angle D, the measurement of angle D is 6x minus 17. So what we need to do here is to transpose 4x to the other side. At ito namang negative 17 is transpose natin sa kabila. So it will become 9. From negative 17 it will become plus 17, and this is 6x, transpose 4x to the other side, minus 4x. Here, this is 26 is equal to 6x minus 4x, and that would be 2x. And solve for x, divide both sides by 2, divide by 2. Cancel, cancel. As you can see, the value of x here in our problem, x is equal to 13. This is now the value of x. But guys, remember, this variable x or this 13 is not yet the final value of the given angles. Okay? Now, after finding the value of x, sabi kasi dito, solve for x and find the measure of each angle. Nagamit ako ng extra paper para makuha natin yung exact value of B and D. Now, since our X is equal to 13, hanapin natin yung value ng B or yung angle B. So, yung representation natin for angle B, the measure of angle B is equal to 4X plus 9 degrees. Your X is equal to 13, so it will become... 4 times 13 plus 9 degrees. Simplify natin. Ang 4 times 13 natin is simply 52. Tama. 4 times 13 is 52 plus 9 degrees. Simplify natin to. 52 plus 9 is 61 degrees. Ibig sabihin nito guys, that the measurement of angle B is 61 degrees. Ito, is 61 degrees. Ngayon, kailangan ko ba nating i-substitute yung value ng x dito sa representation na 6x minus 17? Hindi na kailangan. Kasi since these angles are opposite angles, therefore they are congruent, in terms of measurement, they are equal. Ibig sabihin, this angle D is also 61 degrees. Okay? So sana nakuha niyo yung first part natin or first problem natin. Now, let us proceed with item number 2. 
In number 1, these angles are opposite angles. In number 2, what is the relationship between angle B and angle C? Okay, very good. Definitely, they are consecutive angles. And remember, in a parallelogram, any two consecutive angles are supplementary. If they are supplementary, meaning the sum of these angles is equal to 180 degrees. So, ng equation or working equation. The measurement of angle B plus the measurement of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Specific reason, consecutive angles are supplementary. Magkasunod kasi sila. Ngayon, since meron tayong gantong equation, we can substitute and replace this symbolism using 5x plus 4. Yung sinama natin, kunin natin yung 11x lang. Plus 11x is equal to 180. 180 na lang kukunin ka. Add natin, combine natin yung 5x sa 11x, that is 16x. Then this 4, transpose natin sa kabila to become 180 minus 4. Simplify natin, 16x is equal to 180 minus 4. This is 176. And we will divide both sides by 16. To solve for x, cancel natin to, cancel natin to. This is x is equal to 176 divided by 16 is equal to 11. This is now the value of x. Ngayon, for us to find the other, uh, the exact value of b and c, kasi ano to ah, yung x natin is not yet the values of these angles. So, kunin natin, solve natin, ito solve ko. Yung 11x na lang. Your angle C is equal to 11x degree. So, copy natin yung 11. Then, we will replace this by 11 degree. So, kung makapansin nyo, 11 times 11 is 121 degrees. Ayan yung measurement ng ating angle C. Now, this is the measurement of angle C. So, huwag yung isipin na yung angle B natin is also 121. It's impossible kasi hindi sila equal. So, what we need to do to find the value of B, we will use this equation. Pero you can do this ano, mentally na. Pero in a proper manner, use this equation. We have the angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Since meron tayong angle C, which is 121, gawin natin angle B plus 121 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. 121, transpose natin for us to solve for B. Angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus 121. Again, don't get me wrong. You can solve this mentally sa mismo mind nyo. Pero I'm showing you the proper way. Subtract natin. The measurement of angle B simply, how many? 50, 59 degrees. And this is now the exact value or the exact measurement of angle B. 59 degrees. So I hope guys that you learn something from this video on how to find the angles of parallelogram using the properties of parallelogram na in any parallelogram opposite angles are congruent and consecutive angles are supplementary if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone maraming maraming salamat Bye-bye!